Um, have you ever wondered how uh, the how immediate dentures are made? How people can have a dentures already made for them when they just go to the surgery and walk out of the dentist with dentures already? So this is uh, how I'm gonna show you. It's like this case: uh, the person still have all the roots and some broken tooth and upper and lower. I'm gonna show you exactly how immediate dentures are made. Um, it's kind of a simple process, but I also, it is a slightly uh, long process. The models has to be almost perfect. What I have over here is not quite. I have to grind and take the entire um, bubble that it was on the pallet area. So pretty much her two centrals, it was already here. The roots is still located over here. And then I just go in um, to mark it so then I don't have to go back and look for it. So it is pretty much the same thing, the same process. So what I do here is like there's two ways to do this. Um, either you grind the teeth um, off or you go you start grinding as you go you start grinding tooth by tooth as you go um also just kind of like a replace the broken tooth and put a new tooth on it so that's pretty much the simplest way to do it so but then you still have to kind of a grind on, on the teeth so that way it can be um easier to place in the location so here what I'm doing here, I'm grinding the teeth. So I can place it on the location in the area that I want to um, place. So I'm turning my torch on. I'm gonna shut this off. And I have my hand piece with me. So then I can uh, grind. So, but I'm gonna turn my suction so you can take all this um, dust away. You can still kind of take a little extra off, but not too much. Because when you're pulling teeth, you're gonna create a hole on that area and then it heals but then um, making a significant indentation sometimes is not a problem as soon as as long as you kind of like um, take this part out when you um, finishing you kind of look inside that there is kind of a bulky area uh, indentation area there to um, may bother the patient so I'm replacing tooth by tooth as you can see right now I'm putting the centrals on is where the centrals was located right in the same area right in the same spot um, I still have to grind on the tooth and put it in exact location where the broken one was. So immediate dentures are pretty much done that way. It's not a difficult process, it's just a matter of getting things done. Again, um, you might need a dust collector, I'm taking two teeth at a time. Um, actually, I can take three. Then, I gonna lighten up that tooth next to the other one. With the wax, make sure your models are dry because if they are wet, 
uh, the wax is kind of a hard to keep it on um, it creates uh, the water creates some type of a um, moist in a and in the on the stone and the stone uh, dosing um, in the wax doesn't stay on the stone <laughs> So, again, if you just turning into this channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit a notification so that way you can be notified for every video I'm putting online. So, I'm trying to place this central next to my other tooth. Um, it doesn't want to stay because there is a big chunk of a stone in that area right here which I'm going to get it out because my teeth needs to be on the side of the other yeah, sorry but sometimes It was a big chunk of a tooth that was there. I removed it and so my tooth can go back in there next to the other. I'm just gonna heat it up and then place the tooth right next to the other one, the number eight. That's what I'm putting on, and this is the number nine next to it. So, I got my two centrals, and once that I place those two, I'm pretty much taking off. You know, it's like the race, you know, taking off in the race. You have the two main teeth going on, and it's right into the location right on the right in the central area um, between, between the line so I'm pretty much taking off from there because the most difficult part is to put look, put those two teeth um, and, and know that they are placed in really well played because there is a lot of danger that you see the centrals are not uh, well positioned that they looking like to the north or to the east so then you continue uh, with this next tooth you continue with the next tooth which is your laterals See, either you want it straight or you want it look like some type of a natural looking. I, I like to have my setups looks more like natural, you know. So what I could do here, I just kind of grind all the teeth out, so then I can um, continue putting every tooth into this top denture that's what I'm going to do I'm gonna show you I'm just gonna grind every tooth out I don't need but before you do that make sure you got your pin I'm taking a slightly maybe five to seven millimeters off not too much and not too little either so the denture can fit really comfortably again I don't have the nicest models but I gotta make it work so before you take all the teeth out you must check the pin 
see the pin moved it is placed accordingly but you might need to open up a little bit the verticals vertical dimension because those teeth are really grind down that person has lost uh, has lost her dimension because those teeth has been it's just only the half so I'm gonna place all this remaining teeth on the this top denture I'm gonna push this away from me so I can have a space um, I can have a space working on this denture right here so I'm gonna put another tooth my lateral um, so again you gum you you kind of like take small piece of wax here and to warm it up I put it way too much because you need to see what you're doing kind of melt it and I place it right where it's supposed to on the side I got my laterals on this is still a little bit long what I gonna do is is take a little bit off see it's going okay don't worry about how teeth look like remember keep on going and you will go back and fix everything that it needs to be fixed if it's crooked it doesn't look right don't worry about it in the beginning you can go back to this and and fix and fix it so I'm gonna put my canines on. See, right on the bone, I'm putting my canine right on the bone. And that's how you do immediate dentures. You know, uh, the person still have the teeth on but you go by by the arch and you'll be able to accomplish uh, a good fitting immediate there are some ugly immediate dangers out there the way I make mine I kind of think about that person uh, first shocking uh, moment when she oh hey looking himself after his dentures after his teeth has been removed and then think about the after effect which is there are some people after they remove their teeth immediate dentures that's the only thing they're gonna have for the next five years and and that denture has to be realigned because your tissue shrinks and then you're gonna be putting a lot of material in in order to get that denture fitting can you imagine using it for five years how horrible experience that will be so I always think about that type of people uh, so I try to perfect and make my immediate denture uh, looking good and something that can last and not overly thick not too gummy so that people 
that's the only thing they can see is gum. Um, I kind of think about those little things. It's so when I do my immediate. So I'm still grinding here. If you're not seeing my hand grinding, and the, you know, I'm grabbing the tooth like this with my two fingers, and I grind. I'm using this uh, uh, big, it's kind of like a sandy type of uh, beat. I'm used to it, I love it, and I do everything with it. A lot of people use something like this, you know, that's the right thing. But I use something like that. Uh, this is my favorite, favorite, favorite. Um, tool right there so I'm still putting my ladder my uh, bicuspid on my premolars on this immediate denture I'm putting every tooth on the bone I'm not putting it under the bone because if you do it and put it under the bone uh, you're gonna create some type of a gummy, gummy type of denture. So I do it and I put it on, on the bone, not under the bone. So I have to grind on the teeth constantly, so then you'll be able to put that teeth on the bone. So, average time to do this is about an hour and a half, or you can do it um, faster than this based on experience, but it should not take you more than an hour and a half or two hours. But, but you can work on it for a week, you know, for those of you at home that are trying to learn how to do this. If you're planning to have a surgery, uh, most places they will offer you a package of extraction plus um, immediate denture and possibly permanent denture after that. So it is up to you if you have all this good insurance and enough money to pay for that much. But if you know how to do your own immediate denture, considering they will give you a crappy looking immediate just do it yourself you save more much money if you know how to, if you're a handy person you know how to change your oil you know your car oil you know you can do this just you know you might spend lesser money having it done than having the dentist do it for you you know so I'm not worried about my lord right now because what I'm doing is I just put putting the teeth that I need on. So because I'm gonna be opening and and putting all this together, the lower is doesn't have a no pretty much good teeth to worry about the occlusion right now. So I'm just placing all the teeth. They're gonna put it on my plane of occlusion. This is my plane, and uh, I'm gonna have a lot flat lingualized occlusion then I will be able to uh, balance it and it be ready to go so and you go ahead just keep on going and try to put all the teeth on and then troubleshoot don't be troubleshooting while you're doing it because you're gonna waste too much time and time is gold in the laboratory world so I'm going for, you see as you see this side I'm gonna do the same thing from the other side don't forget to subscribe and hit a notification um, to, so that that way you can be notified every time I load the videos uh, for you so so far right now this is the only part that I'm gonna be showing and I'm gonna cut this video up. I don't want a one hour video. So uh, if you wanna continue watching this, uh, it will be in my next video.
that I show gonna show you exactly um, how to finish and how to do make immediate dentures, which is what I'm doing right now. You know, just gonna place my canine, but then you will see the other part of of the part of the process on the next video. Remember, immediate denture is a denture that you still have your teeth either. Uh, they still kind of are there or kind of a roots or bad and then uh, then your dentures uh, are, are made from from whatever you have there's no wax trans on it because the wax trans are um, you have to remove everything and it's a one shot type of a deal and like I said we all uh, as a technician have their own weight this is my way of doing it and I have never had a problem with the media adventure I always try to uh, make it as it was for me so you know if I think about me wearing something that I every other month I'm gonna be realigning it so I have to make it right so if you think about yourself that this is one of the dentures that you want to wear for the next six to a year six months to a year so you better get it right so then uh, you're not going to having a crooked and, and horrible looking uh, denture. You know, that's some horrible looking denture right there. The people that can even tolerate their mouths too big, too, too bulky, too much gum showing, and it just disastrous looking. So you don't want to do that. And um, again, um, I see you in my next next video.